I'm not certain, but I think Dolphin AI might be broken. You see this Dolphin right here? I set him so he's not despawning, but he's also not going to the surface. If you look right here, 582 seconds of um, air left, and he's going to start taking damage from suffocation. His AI should be telling him to go to the surface, but while he kind of swims up, he never actually goes all the way to the surface to get air. See, he does that, but he doesn't go all the way up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finally he did. Oh my. Wow, he waited until the very last second. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that would answer the question of why the dolphins keep disappearing. Uh, <laughs> I've had dolphins, like, in multiple places across my world, and they keep disappearing. It's... It's a problem. I want to have like dolphins in this zoo area. That one disappeared. Actually, that I haven't mentioned that on camera yet, have I? Yeah, he's uh he's gone. <laughs> I don't know if he died. I don't know if he despawned. I don't know what is going on. But that's what we're going to try and solve today cuz I really really would like to have some dolphin tunnels. That'd be really fun. We have a tunnel. Um <laughs> but once again, dolphin has disappeared. I think the tunnel is in here so there should be a dolphin in this cage i have put two separate dolphins in here and once again <laughs> have they died i don't know like do i need to get rid of these little sections maybe or did they just despawn maybe i i don't know <laughs> i i really really would like to figure out so yeah so I caught a dolphin, and we are going to see what happens to him. Let's take the lead off, toss it somewhere, I can play with that. And then I need to fill in any of these, any, anywhere there's an overhang. Overhangs are potentially the problem, I mean, he, he, I've seen them, like, dodge overhangs to get to air. So it's like, their AI can handle it. But for some reason... Oops. For some reason, there's some problem. I, I don't know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> okay, look at this. Uh, this is a little weird. I'll try and explain it. So, see this? Persistence required. And see how it's zero? Um, that means... Persistence isn't required. <laughs> um, and persistence is when you go away from the mob, uh, whether or not it should despawn. So it might be just despawning. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I named those other guys. So I wonder if their persistence is a little broken. I have name tags here. So we can just go ahead and name him if I can find an anvil. Yep. Bang. So, we shall call him Houdini, because um, he keeps disappearing. Well, there goes the anvil. All right, so if we name him Houdini, he should have persistence, right? Because he's a special thing, like we named him. Usually that attaches persistence, if I can find it. Persistence required, 1B. Mm. So that means that he shouldn't despawn if we leave the area. 3409. 3294. Hmm. I've been wandering all around the island just making sure that he's able to refill his air just by looking at his data and whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. A polar bear wandered through the portal that I had at one of the icicle places and apparently wandered all the way through the nether and came back here so um this is his home now i guess he prefers this over colder areas <laughs> he wanted to move to sunny california anyway i want to make sure that houdini can still get air if i like go to other dimensions and stuff because i i really need to know how to not have him die. So we need to wait about four minutes, roughly, in the nether. 
just to make sure that nothing weird is happening and his, you know, his air isn't like counting down. Because while, while we're in here, yeah, his air is the same. This was before. Um, so it shouldn't tick down while we're in here, but it might be possible that it is without letting us know or something weird. Anyway, while we're here, I have something to for us to do. Which actually has nothing to do with killing those blazes. Um, <laughs> instead, we are going to experiment with the wither roses that we got a while back. Just a short little quick experiment while we wait for Houdini. Um, I really badly need wither heads for lots of beacons. Um, so I want to just try planting some wither roses here and see if we can get some, some guys to spawn. With their skellies. Hmm. Nothing spawning here. The crossroads are normally where wither skeletons spawn, right? So maybe we just need a little more airspace because of the flowers? I'm really not sure how these things work. Well, this is a little bit ridiculous. Just got attacked by a wither skeleton and two blazes. Wither skeleton did not spawn here. He spawned way back in the corner over there. <laughs> so... Ah, hey, Wither Skeleton, what do you know? All right, Wither Head. Well, I mean, that's what I came here for. I came here for a lot more, but... I mean, I'll take what I can get, you know? Yeah, so we might need way more of these to make it work. All right, let's go check on Houdini. So, currently... Yeah, his air is the same. Now, if we step through this portal and his air is way different then that means it's kind of cheating on us. Uh, okay, so it's a little less than 100 different, which is not significant in terms of ticks. That's like not even a second. So he's probably doing just fine over here. Yep. Hmm. Mm hmm. I just did a little bit of an experiment with the slime and I see why the, the uh, snowballs aren't working. So <laughs> take a look at this. So this is persistence required, right? This is the ideal scenario. We want them to stick around. We want the dolphins to stay put. But look it, there's an E here. But in the data pack that I have, there's an A. So all I need to do is change it to an E. <laughs> Stupid little spelling errors like that, you know? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Dolphins always seem to have enough health. It's weird. I don't know where they're going. So I made a dolphin alert. We're going to work on the dolphin tunnels, but this should tell us if the dolphins are having trouble getting air. If, the, if their air is zero... It's going to tell us dolphin in danger a lot. <laughs> it's going to basically spam the chat. So we should be easily able to identify the threat. Now that we have that persistence thing fixed, I'm going to put a dolphin back in here. I collected some more dolphins. Actually, there was a pod that spawned like three together. Oh, man. There we go. Got to make sure and detach the lead. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> uh causes problems but yeah so we should get notified if he gets hurt as well or is drowning or whatever so now we can tentatively work on the dolphin tunnels so the first thing is i want to get a dolphin down here this is the other end of that first dolphin tunnel oops that i showed you so we swim from there Open ocean is over there, but I want to have a dolphin here so that we can enter and exit speedily from the entrance of our base, right? You want something really close like that, so. All right, here we go. Got a little bit of an area that we can plop the dolphin in. And there should be, yeah, there should be enough space for him to leap a little and get some air and stuff, which will be perfect. <laughs> He's gonna like playing with the uh, lead, I suppose. Yep. 
Alrighty, and then close this up. And we should be able to get Dolphin's Grace here. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> cool! <laughs> but I'm not getting Dolphin's Grace, which means there's no dolphin nearby. And I just put a dolphin in here. I suppose he could have jumped over the glass, maybe? But then the dolphin alarm should have gone off. Is he hanging out and... Where did he go? Wait. I was coming back here to put kelp in his... in his little box. But he's not here. Um... Excuse me? <laughs> the dolphin detector has failed. It has clearly failed. Well, I guess if they're despawning somehow, then maybe it hasn't failed. If they're drowning or taking damage, then yeah, it has failed. All right, let's 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 put another guy in here. Hmm. Are you going to stick around or are you going to disappear too? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the persistence required is still broken. So rather than mess with that further in the command stuff, which you can't even see, why don't we just name tag them? And that way, if they go off on the dolphin radar thing, I'm going to need iron. Fortunately, I have way too much of that somewhere. Yep, here. <laughs> but yeah, that way, if they go off on the dolphin radar, it'll be like, Bob is drowning, or Joe is... Okay, we'll come up with better names than that, but... <laughs> we'll be able to distinguish them. There we go. I think at this point we're just going to name all the dolphins uh, disappearance-related names. He shall be Poof. <laughs> okay, if Poof disappears, we will know about it, maybe. Unless the dolphin radar danger detector is broken. But, you know, <laughs> hopefully not. But our dolphin tunnel runs from that little entrance past the main area of our base. Um, and there's another entrance here to kind of this village area. We actually might make an entrance at the village. Um, but more importantly, I want an entrance for the zoo. So we're going to have to kind of do an L shape. So we need to get the, uh, the X coordinate, the red one. Uh, yeah, whatever this X coordinate, 113. Okay, 113. And then we just find 113, whoopsie, too far. I mean, it's a rough estimate. So about right here where the iron ore is. And then we just start digging. And then we need to get the, what I believe is the Z coordinate, the, uh, the blue one. Because it's an organic shape, we can do a pretty rough estimate, but negative 297, 298. Okay. Which would be right here. So yeah, we'll just, uh, you know, make this a little bit more organic shaped, maybe more circly, because that would make more sense for water, probably. And then, yeah, we'll have a tunnel that goes straight to the zoo. So just to make sure everything's good, this is the, the end, where the end's going to be. We're going to pop a dolphin in here. And make sure he doesn't escape and then name him. And that way, while I'm working on this, I should be able to react quickly if uh, this place is no good for him. Oh, also, got to get some kelp in here, you know? So it looks a little more homey. <gasps> no! What? Did you see that? He was just sitting in the corner. Also, the dolphin detector did not work at all. I assume that he just died from suffocation. I don't know if it's because there's an item here, or 
Well, no, he wasn't playing with the item. He was just swimming over into this corner. Like, there's actually nothing in the way of him swimming to the surface. Okay, new plan. So, the item is gone, and it's possible, unlikely but possible, um, that that was the reason that the dolphin died. So, I might need to just clear all of the items out. And that way, I can make sure that the dolphin isn't going to like swim into the corner and be like, Oh no, I want the item, and then he can't get it. He keeps making that sound. I think he's angry at something. He's not angry at me. Because he was going like towards that wall and towards that corner before. But something else has him upset. <laughs> Nothing else has gotten in here, so... I don't know if he's like defending his pod somehow, or... Yeah, I'm not really sure. But we have a uh, entrance up to the surface now. And look, it, it lines up almost perfectly with the uh, square that we made earlier. So, cool. That way we can, on one side we get drag, dragged down, drug down, dragged down, and then, boom, we hit here and uh, get Dolphin's Grace. And we can go wherever we want, <laughs> although it's a little hard to control. I might have to uh, remove some blocks that are like stopping the speed from happening, like that I'm running into so much. Um, but yeah, the tunnel's finished, basically. The the rough rough tunnel is finished. Whee! So now we got a quick way to get to our zoo here. And we'll just finish the little entrance here. Actually, we might not need signs all the way up. I was thinking about having the water go all the way to the ceiling, but might work just fine like this. Yeah, if we go all the way down, then it... Or all the way to the side, then it pulls us down. Actually, let's get this prismarine. And then if we zoom in. We should be right at the front. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. <laughs> the last slice of pizza has... Uh, Jumped into the little tiny area. He prefers the swimming pool to the ocean. I am still concerned about this guy. He doesn't seem upset anymore. So as long as he's not upset, he's probably going to be fine. It's just that if he, I don't know, gets irritated at somebody. He seems to have an anger management problem, really. <laughs> he gets irritated at somebody then and then tries to get into that corner. And then doesn't come up for air, like... I don't know. We might want to prevent that from happening rather than wait for it to happen. Because I've had too many dolphins disappear at this point. I just added it up, and we've lost five dolphins at least. Maybe six, including the previous episodes. So, I'm not chancing it. Um, we are going to do something a little bit clever here. So, this is uh, a conduit, right? It... Uh, it allows me to see underwater, like with night vision and stuff, and I can also breathe indefinitely. But the dolphins can't breathe indefinitely, right? So why not just give them conduit power? Right? I feel like that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> uh, but if we swap this to a repeating thing and maybe put a lever on it, we can basically do something along the lines of that. Cool. I need to... Ah, we could just have it on all the time. This isn't going to break anything. It's dangerous to put some command blocks to be running all the time, but uh, not not all of them. This just gives them water breathing, so it's not going to like teleport us underneath the world or something terrible. Which has happened. Um, yeah. Aha, it's working. You can see the little particles. Actually, should we turn the particles off? Ah, we'll just leave the particles on. It's better to see it, right? Yeah, this will guarantee that even if they get upset or are like targeting an item or whatever and they go into the corner and they forget to go up for air, 
we will make sure they don't die. And I feel like it's not too ridiculous. It's like, I mean, we're already getting water, water breathing like all over the place. So why not give them water breathing, you know? Okay, so I need to go do it at the other conduit here. Command block and do the same thing. So that, uh, that little 13 right here, that gives them the same length of the water breathing effect as me. And then over here, the distance is set to 50, which is also the same as a, is this always active? Yeah. Also the same as a fully activated conduit. So it applies the same length of the effect in the same area. So it's like, it's very much the same. <laughs> And let's just make sure. Yep, he's getting water breathing. Awesome. You know, I'm kind of wondering if this uh, dolphin danger detector was maybe not loaded when we were working like way over there. Because spawn is a ways away and... Because it definitely should have activated, but uh, it didn't. Kind of, kind of sad. All right. Run away from the creeper. <laughs> so, Houdini, how are you on water breathing? <laughs> Can't see when they're underwater. I suppose he never needs to come up for air now, as long as he's in range of the conduit. I actually don't think Houdini is getting the effect. Yeah, I'm not seeing any particles. We're definitely getting the conduit here. But Houdini is not. <laughs> um, so I just looked on the wiki, and if you have a full conduit like I do, you get 96 blocks of distance. That's why it wasn't working. This is, uh, 50 is like the bare minimum. If you have just one ring around, you get 50. If you have two rings around, you get like 80 or something. That, those are very rough numbers. <laughs> Look at the wiki if you want to know specifics. Um, but yeah, 96 is the actual distance. No wonder it covers so much of the island. Because we only have two, right? Oh, wait. Let's use the dolphin tunnels to get over there. Because <laughs> we can do that now. <laughs> Dude, when you get the speed effect from the beacon, it's super fast. Too bad I don't have beacons everywhere. One day. Alright, Houdini. Are you getting water breathing? Yes! Haha! -ha. Victory! <laughs> you will not be drowning here. Hey, you know what? We could actually put some kelp in here too. I never did that before. There we go. Oh yeah! It's not changing at all. That means it's working. I wasn't sure if that would affect the air time. Like... Because sometimes mobs don't work the way you would expect with effects, but in this case, he does, which is good. No drowning here. So, we fixed the despawning with name tags. We fixed the drowning and getting angry at nothing and chasing items that they shouldn't and all kinds of stuff with the, uh, the command blocks for the conduits, giving them conduit power and all that. And we have a new dolphin tunnel here. Oh my, <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh man, I, I think I'm gonna call this a success. Ready? Boom! <laughs> Supersonic! <laughs> oh my word. You know, the dolphin's grace only lasts for like five seconds and we can go through this entire tunnel in less than five seconds way faster than walking even just swimming at speed what two yeah speed two <laughs> as soon as the dolphin's grace hits though oh my goodness the slowest part of it is actually these elevators Ooh, it's weird how i get launched sideways but yeah that that definitely confirms it the dolphins are good so i think that that's going to be it for this episode i'm pretty satisfied that we made it this far on the dolphin project so think it's a good place to call it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of minecraft and that's gonna be it for me so i'll catch you next time later <laughs>